Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in to see my Spout Nest Queen. Uh, this is a, a, a soon update from the last update that I made, um, but we have new daughters that have just hatched. So what you're seeing here is one of the two daughters that uh, she's the one that tends to the brood and pretty much stays with the comb for the time that I was watching them. She pretty much stayed there the whole time. And um, the other daughter is the one flying out and, and um, foraging for wood pulp. And the queen is going out specifically for food. So she's been tending to the brood here. There is another daughter that's going to be hatching soon. You can kind of see in the center of the comb there is a little uh, discoloration. That's actually a hole. And every now and then you can see some movement in there. There is another silk cap right to the top left of that. And that is a... I'm not sure if that's a new silk cap, so if that's a new larva, or if that's a part of the original, um, the original brood that was uh, that was laid. So, either way, we have at least two more um, adult daughters that are going to be coming out and hatching. So, one obviously sooner than the other. So, I did get a lot of shots here of the daughters, and um, the queen is still flying out and getting food. And you don't really notice or can appreciate how big she is until you see her compared to her daughters. All right, so there she's the other daughter's coming back, and they always check each other, so they could kind of run around and just yeah, they make sure that one, each one of them is not an intruder, and communicate a little bit, and then off to the races as far as laying pulp. So this daughter's quick, man. She just comes in, she lays what she has to do, she checks on the brood, um, gets some sustenance, and then out she goes again. So as you can see, um, compared to the last video that I had where there was um, the outside conical paper started to come down, taper down towards the spout. Well, there's not really much of a spout here anymore. Looks like that the uh, queen has chewed that off. Um, but the paper is significantly more, uh, there's more mass to it than what there was uh, the last video. And the top mushroomy looking paper has pretty much um, been built all the way down to the to the wire so the um, I'm interested to see how they how they fix the new comb um, because they will expand a little bit on the Queen's comb but I'm excited to see how they fix all of this up inside there I mean it's it's all pretty well constructed onto the wire but um, yeah I'm excited to see how how they built start building the rest of the comb just given the uh, given the apparatus that I've given them to build off of, so doing a little communicating, a little uh, kind of feeling each other up with their antenna. Um, there's a, quite a few shots here where they actually they, they they are busy and active, but they they um, it seems like they don't really know too much about their place yet or as to what what they should be doing. Um, So I don't know if you've been tracking the the one that I told you this is primarily at the comb, but she kind of just like, I mean, it's kind of like her only role. You know, we're going to zoom in here because uh, mother mother figure is coming back. There she is, mommy, and they all run around get some get some of the food from her. They all like kind of swap out the food, and then they all tend to the to the nest real quick and go to the larva with it. But mom gives them the food, they go and they start feeding the larva, and then she goes to the larva and starts getting sustenance. She's like, okay, I'm done with this food, you take it and you feed them, and then I'm going to eat a little bit, and then I'm going to roll back out and hunt some more. Look how much bigger she is compared to them. I love the color of her wings too. Her wings almost have like a burgundy color to them. And she's almost like three times the size of those daughters. And now she goes. I always like how she comes off the nest too. She almost like just drops off of it and then flies off. Must have been an earthquake. There's a little shimmy in the video there. I swear I wasn't touching it. She's going to get ready to fly off and do her thing. I'm so excited to see the rest of these adults hatch and see how... There she goes. 
she kind of does the same thing as her mom does. She just kind of like drops off the nest. Not really graceful as far as like leaping off and flying away. But I'm excited to see the um, the goings on of more adults coming because I mean this nest is already transformed since the these two have have been hatched. But once we get about ten or so flying in and out, building, 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 it's gonna just I mean, it's just gonna blow up. And um, I'm really excited to see that. However, I am at the beach. I'm in New or well, I'm in New Jersey, but I'm in Sea Isle City. Um, doing a little vacay and um, I left and this is like the last shot that I got and I was like I cannot believe this they hatched and I'm not gonna be around this week to film them so I'm gonna I'm I left last night and I'm not gonna be back home until um, Sunday or Monday and I'm I'm sure I'm gonna go home and there's gonna be like freaking five or six adults flying around that nest and the nest is gonna look even different than what it is here but that's the way it goes sometimes. Timing isn't always uh, isn't always um, right on for with what what we have planned. So my mom should be coming back here in this clip. I think. No wait, it's later on. So I picked up all my stuff, all my gear. I got my desktop. I took it all to the to the little um, hotel that we're staying at. And I have everything set here. Luckily, they have Wi-Fi, so I'm able to upload this video. But um, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait till I got home to to post this video because I gotta show everybody the um, how these girls are doing. And uh, so excited to see that a couple of adults have hatched. I haven't gone over to the barn in a couple of days to see how that nest is doing. I, I kind of glanced at it um, a few times throughout the week, but. They, um, there wasn't any change, so we were just waiting for the for the new adults to hatch, and then uh, then some changes will start happening to the nest. So you see, my uh, my one girl here is coming back and doing primarily most of the building. She um, she's been. I don't know if it's as as much as what the queen was doing like she would lay strips and things but it doesn't seem like her ribbons are quite as as thick or as broad as uh, as mother figures are but I'm sure that's something it'll change over time plus when you get multiple adults flying off and doing that it's gonna it's gonna be like tenfold what the queen was doing initially so this is all pretty much time-lapse uh, sped up except for when the queen comes back because I like to see their interactions together and, uh, and you can see how they all kind of go right to her face and start rubbing their antenna together and, and uh, communicating and swapping the uh, food. So coming up here in the next couple of seconds, so the queen will come back. Then I tried to do a little zoom in so you could see that. Um, I hope it doesn't make it too blurry, but... So they'll go to her, they check out, they do a little swapping, they swap from each other. I mean, it happens pretty quick too, with a matter of a couple seconds. And they all go around back to the larva. I always contend that um, people say that how aggressive yellow jackets and hornets are and that they defend their nest as like a social construct, but I don't think that they're necessarily defending that because of the social aspect as much as they're defending it that that's their food source that that's those larvae give them their food and you know it's like well they're going to protect their food you know um obviously keeps them driven because when those larvae scrape their mandibles on the inside of that comb it's like a driving force to get them out there and and hunt and get food for them the hungrier the larvae are the hungrier makes the adult hornet so Anyhow, so this was pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited to share my uh, my new adults. And uh, yeah, if you guys would just please subscribe and uh, let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching.